Hi, this is another video in the Random Linux Stuff playlist, and this one is on the need for the SSH agent and private key protection. Just before we start, in the description you will find the commands that I used and also two links to earlier videos that are related to SSH. What we'll do in this one is we'll discuss the passphrase that you need to protect your private key as well as how to load this private key at login time, so that you only need to type your passphrase when you log in. As you probably know, whenever you want to connect to another system using public key authentication, you will need a key pair. When you create that key pair, by default, this will be stored in your own .ssh directory. This key pair consists of a private key and a public key. You know this private key should never be shared, whereas the public key's purpose is to be shared, so that it can be used to encrypt messages that only you can decrypt because you have the related private key. Next to that, it can also be used to let you log in to another system without a password because your key will be saved in the authorized underscore keys file on the destination system. Now here's the catch. When your system gets compromised and your key pair gets stolen, this means that someone else stole your digital identity and could pretend to be you. The best way to protect yourself against that is to set a passphrase on your private key at creation time. This means that your private key can only be used after the passphrase is entered first, uh, so as to unlock the key. The disadvantage of that is that whenever you want to connect to another system and your private key is needed, you'll have to type the passphrase yourself as well, which is secure, but also annoying. Let's first look at a quick example on how that works. First, I will not use a passphrase at creation time, and then I will use a passphrase and we'll see the difference. So I'm logged into my client and I'm going to create a key pair of the type RSA and we'll use the default location that it suggests and now we can enter a passphrase but simply press enter twice so no passphrase. So our keys are created and we list them in the .ssh directory. We copy our public key to Rocky on the server and we enter Rocky's password and after that we will be able to log in to the server as Rocky based upon public key authentication which is really nice. However, if someone would steal my private key and public key, they would be able to do the same. So let's recreate the keys, but now with a passphrase. So again, we take the default destination and overwrite the keys we created the first time, and now we do enter a passphrase, and we have to enter it twice. And again, I have to run SSH copy ID to get my public key on the server, and after that, I can connect again using public key authentication. But this time, it will ask me for my passphrase. So I enter the passphrase and log into the server. Unfortunately, I will have to do that every time that I need my private key. Now, how can we make that somewhat easier for me? This is where the SSH agent comes in. This agent can load your private key into memory so that it can be used during your login session whenever needed without you having to type your passphrase every time. The problem is that when you run the SSH agent, which is an external command, that means that a child process will be created which would be of no use to us because we will need its variables in our current shell. So we run eval and add the agent command as command substitution these backticks will simply run the command as part of the eval instruction. By the way, the second notation is equally valid. Both are a way to use command substitution. So let's do that. So we run eval ssh agent and then run ssh add to load the private key into memory. And of course it needs our passphrase only once. And when we list it, we see our loaded key. Now, whenever we need our key, we can use it without the passphrase but only during this session. And if I unload the key, I am back to the old situation of typing my passphrase for every connection. Now, I must say I'm happy with all of this, but I still think it's, uh, it's annoying to run this agent and key load every time that I log in. So I would like to automate that. Now, what we could do is we could simply add the two commands to start the agent and load our key in the .bashrc, like this. So I start the agent and load my key, and then I save the file. And to make sure that when I log out, my agent will get killed, I'm also going to add 
something to the batch logout, in which I will use the variable to kill the agent. So we're still logged in and we source the .bashrc so that we don't have to log off again. And we have to enter our passphrase as expected, but only once for the entire session. I check the PID, which is 1627, and then I log off. And then I log in again. I have to type the password and the passphrase only once. And now my new agent will have loaded the key. And we're done.